I became interested in chemistry at a very young age um, when my mom showed me a quick demo in her lab when I was in middle school. I knew that chemistry would be something that I would be very interested in. I entered a competition called Chemistry Olympiad when I got into high school. I made it to Team USA, which is a four-member team who represents the United States at the International Chemistry Olympiad. While I was there, I won a silver medal and I was able to meet some amazing students from all over the world, from over 72 countries. Even though Team USA did a really good job at the International Chemistry Olympiad, the nation as a whole, we are currently not doing so well in STEM education. There are a lot of things that we could be doing much better, especially at the young ages. Because of that, I wanted to find a way to fix this. I wanted to find a way that we could improve our education system to allow more kids to become involved with science, technology, engineering, and math. I got together a group of very talented people at my high school and we discussed what the best way to do this would be and we came up with the concept of a chemistry magic show. When I first told other people like our teachers, principals, and my, my parents about this, they were a little skeptical about what we could achieve with this. They were a little bit worried that we were setting our goals too high, that some of the things we were doing really were just too hard to accomplish. But when we started contacting schools, we saw that these principals, these students, at, and these schools, they really needed a service like what we provide. They wanted something that their kids could go to to become inspired by science. At the elementary schools, we make sure we have all of our supplies, we set up the tables, and make sure, once again, double check, to make sure that we have all that we need. When we do the shows, we pitch it as magic. Um, we tell them that all of our tricks are magic tricks and that when they are participating, they are helping us with the magic. It's not until the end of the show that we tell them that everything was not magic, it was actually science. And that all of this could be replicated in, in a lab or by themselves. The fact that they can see something that they think is magic, and we can go in and tell them that all of this is just science, that's extremely powerful. Our magic shows are a set of really fun demonstrations for the kids. Um, they consist of experiments like blowing up hydrogen balloons to doing an American flag demonstration where indicators change colors from red, white, and blue. We have demonstrations that show spontaneous combustions and even oscillating chemical reactions that oscillate back and forth between black and gold. Why hasn't this been thought of before? I bet you it has, it just hasn't been used by high school students to go down and work with elementary school students or middle school students. So in addition to just doing the magic shows for elementary schools, we wanted to focus on schools who may not have the same resources that we do. This is a 100% free lunch school area. So 100% of the students are under the poverty line. And this is a low performing school where we're, every year we're moving up. Science and math is one of the things that's lacking in the United States, as you know. And one of the big things that you're doing is um, inspiring little ones mm -hmm. to become scientists in the future. Uh, we are a Title I school, we're low income, um, but one of the things we don't let that be a drawback, we use that as an opportunity to provide as much as we can for those kids to open up all the different doors of opportunity. I think the kids loved it. I know the kids loved it. <laughs> I got to watch all the assemblies and the kids were more excited than I've seen them in a long time. And just seeing the interest in their face and their excitement and to be honest, when, when questions were being you know, asked, so many hands went up which told me, okay, our kids are involved. 
this is something they want, this is something different for them. With the experiments that you did, it had the kids engaged. It had them wanting more. You know, they said, wow, I saw what that did. What are they going to do next? Uh, for all I know, we may have the next Einstein sitting in one of, one of these 1,100 kids. Maybe our next Einstein out there. Not only did the kids love our show, the teachers and administrators, they thought what we were doing was just amazing. It really does uh, make it fun and exciting to see so a lot of the, the chemical reactions and, and tying that into science and, and viewing science as something that's fun. I thought it was fantastic. It really brought to life science for our students. They're just starting to learn about chemistry. They can make the connection that science can be met. Nowadays, most kids at the elementary level don't get a lot of exposure to science. Our goal as an organization is to get more kids involved in STEM education. Um, I understand that the magic show is only the inspiration. And inspiration can only go so far without any concrete activities for the kids. Something that they can really dig into. They can go in and play around with the materials. So that's why we started a second component of our program. You're going to be a team, and then us two are going to be a team. Okay. So, you, I'll spend it just a moment. So, we go into these classrooms and we bring lab materials, chemicals, and other fun experiments for them to try out on their own in small groups. This way they can experience what they saw in the magic show in a more intimate, in a more tight setting. Um, and this is where we can get the most impact. The magic shows are a great service, but these hands-on activities where they can create their own experiments and test out their own passion for science, that's where we can make the biggest difference. When Jason first told me about the idea behind Catalyst, I was really skeptical and I thought that it was unattainable um, to do what he, he was talking about. And, and I saw that they were accomplishing um, what they set out to do. And, and then I decided I, I have to get in on this and I'm really glad that I, that I made that decision. The first step in any process is always the hardest. And I wasn't sure what response we would get from the kids after the first school we went to. But I knew immediately after the first balloon we blew up that when I saw those kids, their faces light up, I knew we had something really special. I knew we could do something that could really benefit these kids. Um, and after that first show, I knew that we could reach so many kids, we could make such a big difference in these kids' lives. Any type of exposure, especially coming from students like yourself, it's a great opportunity for them to see that um, there's hope in this world. At the end of every show, we always ask the students, How many of you guys want to be scientists now? Yeah? Oh, that's a great